In this video I'll show you a whole bunch of fade-in tips and tricks like batch watermarking, focus mode and splitting tabs. Keep watching. Hi, this is Bela from The Writer's Territory and today I have a special for you. It's a compilation of a whole bunch of seemingly little tips and tricks in fade-in, but they can really make your writing life a lot easier, so I thought I'd share this with you. Find file on disk. Now, this feature is actually very neat. If you're working with a document that has been saved to disk or has been opened from a disk and you want to know its physical location on your disk, go to File, Find File on Disk. Fade-in will open the Finder or the Explorer with the folder that contains your document. This also works with network locations, by the way. Recover Backup If you want to recover a backup file that Fade-in saved automatically, go to File, Recover Backup. Fade-in opens the Auto Backup folder for you and you can pick the backup file you want. For this to work, Auto Backup must be activated in the Preferences. Go to the General tab and activate it there. Batch Watermark This is a useful feature if you want to give your screenplay away to a bunch of people and have them all personalized with a watermark, so if your script may get leaked, for example, at least you know whose version it was. Go to File, Batch Watermark, Faden opens a window for you where you can enter the information you want to appear on the watermark. Take one line for each version of your script and hit OK. Now Faden presents you with a dialog where you can choose some more options, for example, how dark you want the watermark to appear, if you want to export all pages or just a certain character, which revision color and so on and so forth. If you've got that all set, hit OK again and Fade-in will produce one PDF version of your script for every name that you entered. It will also put the name of the watermark in the file name and save it in the folder of your script file. This is a very straightforward and quick process to do this and it's much easier than in other software packages, I think this session. This is also a very useful feature. Go to File, This Session and Fade-in gives you statistics about your actual writing sessions, like how long you've been writing or how many words you've typed already. You can also set a timer if you like to write in certain intervals with short breaks in between. And that's very smart to include that in a screenwriting software so you don't need extra software for that. Split Tab Sometimes you might want to see two documents side by side, either for comparison or you just want to refer to information that is stored in another script of yours. Very simple to do that. Go to View, Split Tab and Fade-in gives you two windows side by side to display your open documents. If you prefer it the other way around so that the document that is on the right is shown on the left, just click drag the tab and pull it to the other side. Once you see a blue ribbon on the side, let go and Fade-in switches the position of the tabs. You can also show both tabs on top of each other. Just drag the one tab to the top of the window until you see the blue ribbon appear on top and let go. If you want to close the two tabs view, you can just drag one tab on top of the other and let go, or you can select the tab and choose View, Join Tab and you're back to your one window view. Focus Current Text this is a nice feature. Go to View, Focus Current Text. As you can see, Fade-in fades the whole text slightly and only leaves the paragraph you're working on in black. This may actually help you focus on what you're writing right now and not be distracted by anything else. To deactivate, simply go back to View, Focus Current Text and turn it off. If you want to learn more about different Fade-in tools and functions, look for more articles and videos on writersterritory.com or on my YouTube channel. If you're missing something, drop me a quick message and tell me what you've been looking for that I should include in future articles and videos. If you like this video and you're here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. I want to help you find the perfect writing software for you and help you with problems and questions you might have about the software you already own. So you can go back to your writing as quickly as possible and spread the important stories and messages you want to share with others and hopefully enrich other people's lives. If you want to get in contact with me, the links are down below. Just drop me a message and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Have fun writing everybody. See you. Bye.